All right, what is going on everyone? Josh Films here, back at it with another video. I got a lot of good support from the last one, so I'm gonna try to keep it up, you know? Right here we got the Cobalt. We're gonna do a little somewhat review like I did in the last video, but I'm gonna go in depth and just to this car. Everything that I have done to it. Um, basically all the parts, all the stuff that's happened to it since the three, almost three years that I've owned it. Um, here at the shop, I'm gonna storage it for a little bit, a couple days, going out of town. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Before we get in the video, we got the boys. Oh, Capri Suns, Capri Suns. Yo, some, some, nigga. Yo, some, Thirsty Thursday, nigga. You already know what it is. <laughs> what you waiting on? What am I waiting on? Yeah. I was waiting on you, but I was making a little vlog. Okay, okay. Shout out to Joshua Vlogs. We got Hazel over there. Look at him. Shit. All right, we got my boy Javi right here. He's going to film this little piece for me. It is later in the night because I had to go do some things, but it's in the shop now. Awesome. So I gotta repeat what I said. Yeah, repeat it because you know the last clip was messed up. Oh, you know us, you know, we're gonna get to a mil, you know, Josh Flags to a mil, you know, you know. AKA Eliminate, congrats yes, for that one million. Once we do, we get wasted. Yes, sir. Blacked get... out drunk, probably lost, I don't know. <laughs> Crash and cut, no, don't try it. Ah. All right, here you go. All right, so now that I got a, uh... <laughs> All right. now that I got an assistant, Video taper, video guy, I don't know how to say it. All right, here's basically my little rundown that I'm gonna have. All right, let me pop the hood for you guys. Oh, my figure. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. It's really hard to record with that. We'll make it work. Oh. Sorry for the shitty quality, guys. We got it We got it Little daily got AC now. We need that at summertime. All right. So you guys saw this in the last video. I'm just gonna go a basic rundown. All right. So this is a 2006 Cobalt SS in Victory Red. It is a stage three kit, all done at home uh, for the most part. So the basics. It's a uh, all ZZP. Let's see. Got a ZZP heat exchanger. Nice, nice. ZZP 2.8. What was that? Nice, nice. Yeah, 2.8 pulley. Nice. Got the option B kit, which is basically a second reservoir. Nice, nice. I got a dual pass end plate that you can't really see, but it's down there. Helps for cooling. Nice, nice. <laughs> the engine intake, I probably will be going with the ZZP 3 inch in intake. Just because more airflow, I guess. I got a, um, just a basic you know, base map tune for now. I'm gonna go with dyno tune eventually. Let's see what else do I got. Got the 60 pound injectors. I got BC coilover, extreme lows, which ride pretty good for being coilovers. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes, sir. And then let's see, what else do I have? For the wheels, I have ESRs. They are CS15s, I believe. It's a... Uh, what are my specs? What are my specs? Let's see if I can remember. 18 by 18 by eight and a half plus 30 offset. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then if I were to give it a rough estimate, I'm gonna I'm gonna lowball it. I think it's making 260 to 270 wheel, give or take. Bullshit. Uh, it's probably more, but yeah. All right. All right. We got black housing headlights that was done by the previous owner. I got switchback LEDs. Uh, ZZP LED headlights, stock fogs that are not connected because I accidentally forgot to connect them. Come back this way. Alright, I got, I got a, uh, a sticker, you know what I'm saying. Alright, and then back here, I got aftermarket tail lights. Not sure what brand it is exactly, but they are aftermarket. If you could, you know, get this little Chevy emblem. It is a... It is a, okay, from 
the header is back, so the ZZP header, ZZP mid pipe, or down pipe, whatever you would call it. And it's a Chevy Performance cab back, so basically header is back, it's full exhaust. I have um, a OTTP short shifter. Uh, I have an OTTP uh, shift knob. I also have a DNA performance shift knob, but you know, so once in a while I like to mix it up. Uh, what else do I have? ZZP shifter bushings. I have a rotated trans mount, also by ZZP. ZZP uh, steering rack spacers. Let's see what else do I have? Let's see. Oh, the yellow, the yellow fake brimbos. Oh hell yeah! Yes, sir. I definitely need some of those. That's basically the rundown on this car. Oh, I also have a GMPP clutch. I needed that because uh, I kind of cooked my last one. But a little story on this that I recommend. Always have this little cap right here. It's normally a red one, but a little quick funny story that I had. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. It was, it was kind of sad, kind of embarrassing. So the oil filter on these are really hidden they're down here you could bear, you can't even see it on video that's how hidden it is i had an extension and i when i set the extension down it touched my fuel rail and it touched the battery post and it basically just you know caught fire so this whole new fuel line had to get replaced what else happened uh yeah that's about it honestly about with that piece but that's all fixed everything is basically up to maintenance this car Although it doesn't look like it, there is a few rock chips, blah, blah. It has 160,000 miles. That's pretty crazy for the year, for, you know, the, the amount of years that I've had it for. I probably put around, give or take 20,000 miles already in three years. So that's not too bad, I guess. And uh, in the near future, I do want to turbo swap it. Just a basic entry kit. I want to push somewhere around 400 wheel, just to be, you know, in that fun range. I do want to switch up the tire setup eventually, you know, raise it up a little bit. Got to make that big power. Want to get retrofit headlights, um, aftermarket tails, which different aftermarket tails, I'd say. I want to get brown seats, brown harnesses, blah, 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 you know, do the full interior swap. So yeah, it's basically my car now. Since we got special guests here, let's see what's all done to this car. Although it might not look like much, there's certain stuff. Hey, why are you shy, bro? Why are you shy, bro? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh... Hi, guys. My Nissan Altima. Uh... Stock. Airlift. It does have airlift. Which is really nice because when there's speed bumps, what do you do? I run through them. <laughs> Basically, as you can tell right now, what is this, your ride height or is this your air No, that's just like your ride height. Well, have you seen this shit look at roads? Look at this. This, this is, is not ride height. This is not ride height? This is higher? Yes. All right, look. Look at all this room. It's not even maxed up all the way. Yeah. Demonstration. Oh, a little Only demonstration. <laughs> Look at that tuck. Shit is very loud. I mean, it's well worth it though. Look at that. It's probably I'm not gonna lie. This blue, it wasn't my favorite color out of the Z selection, but. The more that I see it, the more that it is grown on me. I do like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you also have what are these? What mill spacers? Oh, uh, I had to go safe, so you know, 30 mil. 30 mil in the rear, in the front. 25. 25. This is not bad for now. So, where are the wheels? Where are the wheels? They said one to three days. Shipment, I'd get them. Been like four weeks. <laughs> three piece that you US. So supposedly we were told, all right, they're gonna get here one to three days ship, you know, to his door, this and that. It's been a month. Come on, three piece. What what's going on? That's lack right there, bro. 
a paying customer and you guys lie? I mean, COVID did affect it a little bit. You know, I can't even lie, but. Hey, Martinez, fuck you. She's the one that gave me the wheels. You know, she said, oh, 23 days. No. What if she's the one running them? Dang, she finessed you, bro. <laughs> yeah, but this car overall, super clean. He does have a little bit of carbon fiber accents in there, you could tell. Gotta get the sticker, bro. Shout out to Tony, bro. Oh, yeah. Shout out, Tony. I don't know who the fuck that is that made that, but Tony gave it to me. You already know. Represent for the one time. Ah. Uh, that has another game. <laughs> All right, now we got the boy, sweaty boy rig right here. Look at him, <laughs> look at him, sweaty boy. All right, come on, let's do a little review on your car. Mm. Oh. I honestly don't know why he doesn't want to show his car. It's a clean, what year is it? 2000. It's a 2000 SI, what are these, EM1s? And we're gonna be honest, it's a little dirty wash-wise, but besides that, overall it's pretty clean. It does need a little bit of work. Don't touch it. What are you what are you covering bro? I'm not covering nothing. What are you covering, bro? What do you cut? A bird pooped on it and he's been too lazy to clean it. What are you doing, Rigo? I don't know. Alright, what what's like what engine is this? What's under it? B16. B16? A1? A1? That's pretty clean. What wheels are these? What wheels are these? They're reps. Are they like uh what is this one? Like a uh, the same one as the friggin' that aren't they called like whistlers or something like yeah. that? Whistlers, something like that, yeah. The but overall beans. What up? Like, X, X something. I don't even know bro, I don't this know what it was like that. B R D E N. They're reps. Are you gonna are you gonna stick with these wheels forever? Oh let me get some work S ones. So there you go. If anyone wants these wheels are what, fifteen by, by eight, nine? I think they're 15 by nine. So if anyone wants them, put them in the comments. We'll throw us a price. If Rigo likes them. Cheap. Let me know, 200, 300. Two, 300 bucks. We'll keep it at 300 for now. Ah, But if you look, this car is pretty mint. I don't, he likes sitting like a gangster. I don't know why they're so- It's kind of dirty. Back. It's kind of dirty, but. But overall, this car, is, this car is mint. All right, but this is, Oh no, NRG baby, definitely yes. has to get changed. Ah, Do you have any um, like shifter mods? Do you know if there's a short shifter or not? There's a short shifter on it. What exhaust? Whoa, I almost fell in this dude's car. What exhaust is on this? Uh, it's a uh, friggin' how you call it? Yo, yo Honda, yo Honda, what's it called? The yo, yo something. Yo that mama. What? Yo. What? Hey, what is it? Mom's out there, me out shit, come on. <laughs> but this car is super clean. Gotta wait, wait till next winter. It's gonna be a different color. Maybe. Maybe after the next video after this. Who knows? Who knows? It's not gonna be after this next video. He's hey, lying. Two more, two more, two more. Just wait on it. Two more videos? What if I post today and tomorrow? I don't know. What about it comes tomorrow? Finish it. Ah. Nah, but for real. That, that SI is really clean. Uh, it's so hard using the iPhone, but it is really clean. The bumper's in the oh, back, just chilling back there. It's on springs right now. It is on springs, and believe it or not, this car sits pretty low for being on springs. Like, I know these cars naturally sit low, but it's pretty crazy what springs could do to a little Civic, you know? Any plans on building it, or what do you want to do to it? Stance, what do you want to do? Get coil soon. What coils do you want to run? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm debating. Maybe bags. Mm. I don't know yet. Bags would be a really but good. For sure. I'm going to get carbon hood and carbon uh, trunk with ducktail. duct tail. That's valid. That's valid. Oh, yeah. Now that I remember, I, I might get a carbon hood. Oh, why does my paint look so dull on camera? I might get a carbon hood. I'm debating. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of carbon hoods, but I do want to get a carbon uh, wing blade. Those are pretty rare to find, but if I could find one, I definitely want to cop that. But yeah, uh, let's see. As of right now, we're gonna be leaving the cars here for a little bit. Once in a while, I might pull it out until winter comes. My boy Javi's looking at me like, it's a little awkward, but I gotta get used to this video stuff. And eventually, uh, 
I'm gonna get a bigger, better camera, you know? But like I was saying, uh, we are gonna leave them here for a little bit because, you know, space and we, what's the point of having this if we're not gonna have our cars in here for a bit? Winter's coming up soon, maybe two, three more months left as it is Wisconsin weather. Uh, I lost my train of thought. If you hear that, my bad, it's, it's the fan. But uh, over winter, I definitely wanna get all new suspension. I wanna install all new suspension, do all that stuff. Uh, probably lower the rear, like I said in the last video. If I could find a decent spring that would fit this, I'm probably gonna go for four inch spring now that I think about it. And I definitely wanna get uh, tube control arms that are adjustable. So I could adjust the camera a little bit more than what the coils give me. And yeah, we still have, let's see, we have one more car left to put in here, which is Javier's, the other Javier. He has a ruckus that he wanted to put in here, but I believe he wants to put a OBS. If you guys don't know what that is, it's an old body style truck. So like a Chevy, it's probably gonna sit somewhere in this area right here. We're gonna have this car fit right there, you know, but flipped around. This little space right here of the shop, we're gonna do like a little chill space, you know. We already have a mini fridge right there. Some chairs, we're trying to find a couch. We're gonna put a TV up here. But yeah, these are the cars for now. Remember how they look, especially this one. Next year, this car is gonna be so nutty when that, when that paint comes in gonna be whew. uh dante might be coming over in a little bit we might go to his shop i'm not sure exactly what's gonna go on for the rest of the night um tomorrow which is friday the 20th of august we're gonna be going to what is it called what is it called Summerfest. i don't know why that didn't pop up in my head summer smash my bad we're gonna be going to summer smash i might record a little clips you know do a little vlog there see what's up see the city of chicago go adventure they're gonna go with these boys and a few other the other guys uh so yeah i'll pick up the vlog in just a little bit dante was calling me so i'm gonna see what's up all right everybody we're at dante's shop now we just left our shop because we just decided to come here instead let's see what it's all about got bugs bro Back yeah, at it, come on, but we don't want mosquitoes in here, bro. bro some dudes told me about a race. Oh, oh race. my bad, my bad. All right, but we're here at Dante's shop now. Uh, we're gonna, what are we gonna do? Work on the FC a little bit? We're gonna work on the Evo a little bit. Turn that AC, bro. You got AC? <laughs> Money, man. Got AC in the shop. We don't got that luxury just yet, you know. What is this? What are you hiding? What are you hiding? Uh, uh, nothing. What are you hiding, bro? What are you hiding? Nothing. What are you hiding, bro? Nothing. That's my phone. <laughs> yeah, here's the Evo. What are you hiding, bro? What are you hiding, bro? What are you hiding, bro? Bro, what is that? Oh, it's for the Z. Oh, I thought it wasn't for the Z. You said that in the last video. Changed your mind? <laughs> All right, but we're going to work on the Evo a little bit. See what's up with it. I don't know what... It the drawings that are on here, I can't really show you, but let's see. They're pretty bad. Let's just say I'll show you the GTR. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, we're gonna work on the Evo a little bit. Uh, help Dante out, let's see what we could, you know, get accomplished tonight. And hopefully we'll have it running. Nah, I'm just kidding, we won't have it running tonight, but hey, when, when's your like, when do you think your date for this car to at least crank over? The sixth time. That's a rude question. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason he hasn't really had it running mainly was because trans, really? Yeah, and I was told earlier, uh, well, last week, like the actual end date, and he told me that it sh sh should be done by uh, uh, the September uh, uh, first. I like the absolute latest so so uh, i'm gonna go fast to start on it and hurry up so once the transit's here i can just toss everything in right away and get started when the yeah. fuck is your so there you have it september 1st hopefully the dog bugs will come in there are 32. this thing is just gnarly this is something that i would never expect to see this close 
touch it. I don't want to touch it too much. Although it is dirty, I don't know. I feel bad you touching you it. So if he ever gets like <laughs> wanted for murder or something, like that, that's right. Yeah, but dude, just look at this. The right hand drive, cockpit style. I will keep up that up again. I think he cleaned his car actually, and I just see like it's, it's so dusty, it's dusty dodgy. It's, it's so like, oh, dusty. Shit. But yeah, I never thought I'd be able to see one of these in person, let alone have a friend that has one. A gay friend. Yeah, caveman. That's a I know, I know what you said. A little carbon. Definitely not. <laughs> but the evil also. Here, let's get into this a little bit. This is what it looks like to sit in the evil. It's pretty clean. He has a boost gauge, AFR gauge. Little reminder. Check your gas, because as you can tell, you can't see the fuel gauge, so you have to kind of peek over, look at it right there. These Recaros, you can't really see them, but they're actually pretty good in bolster. Bolstering? How would you say it? I don't know. But yeah, I like the little squeak. Dang, boy, you're making me want an evil now that I'm sitting in this. <laughs> Save your money. Save your money. I'm not gonna build it like this. That's why everyone. That's what every evil owner. Wait, on, what do you? Are you just trying to flex on this, bro? No. Maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy will have more parts than I could ever afford. What size turbo was that? This is a precision 64, 66. 64, 66 precision. There you go. Is that a sheepy racing intercooler? Yes, sir. Where is it? Sheepy built. Sheepy built intercooler. Shout out Sheepy. They're going to be on the build. Yes, sir. So if you were to give us a rough estimate on this vehicle, money-wise, what do you think you're at right now? With vehicle included. With vehicle included, with the Evo, so I had this on a steel just because of the title on this is uh, branded, so, so like I scooped it up for a 14 grand and I put it damn near almost the ex uh, ex exact amount back into it, but yeah. So you're sitting at a what, 20, 28 28 overall. overall. Which is not bad for the power that you're gonna get. It's because, I mean, like, it's because, like, you know, like, everyone thinks Evos are expensive, but in reality, it's basically like a Honda overall. Yeah. It's like a Honda on steroids, and, like, the parts are kind of expensive here and there. I mean, but, like, I mean, but, like, almost every part that that is made on the Evo is quality, quality. parts. What, what, like, you actually have to do so that is actually, like, you know, speed around and, like, have, like, awesome time. Is that E85? Five, you know, and factors and a tune, and then boom, you are like at like 460 ish. So it's you know, cruising along and enjoying it. And that's on stock turbo, yeah, stock turbo, stock engine, head, trans, like evos. Hmm. They're strong, they're good for it. All the evos are strong, all the evos are strong if they're built right. Don't have faster car. Ever. It's not a Honda. It's a Honda and Strollers. Although, not. although Evos are fast and all. Could it be the boosted Cobalt? Yeah. That's like Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? From a dig? 100%. From a roll? I don't know. I don't know. That's why I got my cheat codes. I got NOS. I got anti leg. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Let's break. Let's break. Let's break. Like he said. G2 cheat said. codes. I'm low-key really geeked to see a drift. Hopefully, me and you, one day we'll be tandem buddies. Dude, it's because, like, you know, after, like, this car is, like, over with, over with, you know, I mean, you know, because, like, come with me, it's, like, I like to have, you know, like, like a lot of experience, a lot of drive time. So, whenever, you know, like, it's a, a built to my spec on to actually drift, I'm going to be out there, you know, like, every t t t time I have a chance, I will be out there. Just because, you know, I want experience, I want to learn a lot. Yeah, you want seat time. 
exactly a lot as you know time driving and directing it you know so I'm in you know doors and looking cool yeah yeah but like I said hopefully one day I'll get a Z a little HR 350 how do you feel about that don't buy one of those shits I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it just to drift because at the end of the day I heard the overall one of the best drift cars you could get just for how nimble they are, how easy they are to slide. I guess they are. But uh, hopefully one day I will be able to get one and go slide. We do have a track pretty local. It's about half hour, 45 minutes away. It's called uh, US Air, something like that, I think, believe. It's in Shano. And there's always a lot of events. There's a big event coming soon, September 4th and 5th, I believe. It's called Final Bout. You will catch us September. there for sure. Yeah, I think September. Oh, my bad. You will catch us there for sure. I will be recording as much as I can. Uh, a lot of dope rides go there. A lot of like stance, drift builds, I could say, go there. A lot of tandem means, so I definitely will be there. And we'll see exactly what comes for us in the future. But for now, I'm gonna end off the video right here. It's been your boy Josh. I'll be driving the left hand drive, uh, R32, that's really right hand drive. And your boy Dante. I'm gonna be working on you for now, but we'll see what happens next time. Peace.